What is up, blockchain gang? This is the Daniel Draghi Show, where nearly 10,000 delightful delegates defend all the Earths from alien devastation. Today, we're going over everything you need to know to play to earn in Crypto Ball Z for all levels of players, with a big emphasis on earning. Some of these concepts will assume you have played the game before watching this video, so if you are brand new, head on over to the guide I made for beginners, and everything here will make much more sense. Keep in mind that this is a live game that is updated all the time, so some of this information information may change in the future. Be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for these important updates. We're going to cover the three main ways to earn in Crypto Ball Z with some tips to help you along the way. Then we'll go over some strategies that players use in order to maximize these gains. Finally, I'll cover how to buy and sell WeMix, Herco, NFT Commanders, and Hero Stones for anyone new to cryptocurrencies in general. Remember that I am just a gamer like you and not a financial advisor, so all of this is for educational purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice or don't you know that's the sound of the man working on the chain okay. that's the sound of the man working on the chain okay. The first way to earn in Crypto Ball Z is at the end of a season when you'll be granted a reward of Hero Stones or Herco and Hero Stones. Herco is the token used by Crypto Ball Z. It may help you to understand how Herco works by thinking of it as a gift card or credits for Crypto Ball Z that can be used in the game for items to make your team of heroes stronger so that you could earn a higher rank. Except that this gift card can also be exchanged with other players for real money or NFTs as well. Currently, a season is two weeks long and all rewards are sent to your mailbox when it is over. Herco can also be broken down into hero stones to be used in the game for additional power and hero stones can be refined back into Herco. There are two types of hero stones in the game. Blue hero stones are purchased with cash from the cash shop and cannot be used to refine Herco. Red hero stones on the other hand can be used in place of blue hero stones in the shop or refined into red Herco and are the hero stones earned from playing the game. Blue hero stones provide a way for players to enjoy the game and use the cash shop without requiring cryptocurrency at all, but it is almost always advantageous to use Herco instead. The second way to earn is by mining red hero stones with drones. This will require the use of a commander. There are normal commanders that you are rewarded with for playing the game and that you can buy with hero stones. These only last a limited amount of time and are not NFTs, so when they expire they will be gone forever. But you need a commander in order to gain drone parts from playing the game. This will allow you to craft drones and send them out to mine red hero stones. The farther the you get in the game, the more drones you're allowed to send at one time, and different configurations of commanders allow you to send out better drones that gain more hero stones with each trip. If a player does not wish to use all of the Herco or hero stones they earn from playing the game in order to get a higher rank, they can refine their hero stones into Herco and then sell those Herco on the WeMix wallet exchange. The third way to earn is by selling NFT commanders for WeMix. WeMix is the parent token of all games on the WeMix blockchain. The way I purchased my first NFT and CBZ was to earn both Hero Stones and Herco from doing well in my first season. After refining Hero Stones into more Herco and trading the Herco for WeMix, I had enough to purchase a rare NFT commander. You can bypass this by purchasing WeMix directly from another exchange, sending it to your WeMix wallet, and purchasing the NFT commander that way. And I'll go over how to do that a little later on in this video. NFT commanders never expire and allow you to make much better drones. You're also able to summon commanders with red Hero Stones. Most of these will be the normal, time-limited variety, but there's a small chance to get one that is rare, epic, legendary, or mythic. You can then use the NFT commander for yourself, or trade on the NFT marketplace to another player for WeMix, which can then be sold for cash. It is also possible to win an NFT commander by dismissing time-limited commanders for tokens, and then using those tokens in the slot machine. There is also a roulette wheel that can be spun for tickets bought with Herco that can reward an NFT commander. Finally, it's possible to upgrade three rare commanders into an epic, or three epics into a legendary, which can be sold for much more than three times the value. However, this is not for the faint of heart, as there is a high chance of failure, and you burn or lose all of the materials used, regardless if it succeeds or not. On to some more advanced strategies that combine or enhance multiple methods of earning. Owning commanders does not just give you drone parts, but they also decrease the overall mining time, increase the number of hero stones mined, 
Mind, Novice Production Speed, Novice Inventory Space, Max Daily Novice Production, and the likelihood that an SR or SSR hero will be created when combining two Tier 10 Novices. They can also give you a head start at the beginning of the season, give you a chance to double combine Novices, or recruit a T2 Novice instead of a T1. All of these benefits spill over to grant you a higher ranking reward at the end of the season in addition to extra earnings from drones. You are only earning hero stones when your drones are mining and when they return, you must collect the rewards and construct new drones to be sent out, using a timer to remind you when the drones are back or the push notifications from the game will make sure that your earnings do not get stalled. Sometimes similar items will be available for purchase with both Herco and Hero Stones. It is usually better to use your Hero Stones on these items when possible if you don't have enough Herco because there is a fee when refining Hero Stones into Herco, but there is no fee when breaking Herco down into Hero Stones. So if you have the Herco, you can easily do the math to find out which deal is better. For example, I can buy 300 Evolution Stones to power up my Heroes for 12 Herco, which is the same as 252,840 Hero Stones. While in the Trade Center, this season's exclusive offer is selling 300 Evo Stones for 252,000. Sure, it is not much of a discount, but when you consider that I can buy them in packs of 100 or 200 instead of only 300, and that there is an event going on right now for players who break Herco down into Hero Stones, which would grant me an extra 5 Tier 10 Novices, it becomes clear which option is superior. That brings us to our next tip, which is to always play for the events. Like most games, you are rewarded for making good decisions and you are punished for making bad ones. Sometimes a bad decision can become a good decision due to a time limited event, so always pay attention to these updates. To illustrate this point, if I were spending 20 Herco on Evolution Stones instead of 10, it would be better to not break down the Herco into Hero Stones because a different event would grant me an SR Hero Selection Ticket for spending 20 Herco in the shop and I value that over 10 Tier 10 Novices. In order to get a good ranking, you will need a variety of things. Multiple copies of each hero you are using, Evolution Stones, and powerful artifacts or the stones needed to evolve them. I'm always falling behind in one of these categories, average in another, and way ahead on the last. Once you assess how you're doing in each of these areas, it should give you an idea of where to invest the Herco or Hero Stones to give yourself the most bang for your buck, as sometimes investing a little of what you earned can double or triple your rewards at the end of the season. Another strategy that can be used is flipping NFTs. I like to do this when I'm watching the market for a good deal on my next NFT, or if I have one listed and I'm frequently checking if it's sold or not. Just by keeping an eye on the market, I'll spot deals from time to time where people are trying to sell their NFT in a hurry by lowering the price. I can scoop these up for a song and relist them for a price in line with the others for an easy return on my investment. Now I would like to go over the different levels of drones and their respective earnings. Keep in mind that any additional benefit from commanders that may help you rank up will not be considered here. To keep things simple, we're going to assume that you're able to send out an average of 20 drones per day. I realize it's impossible to send out that many drones at the start of a season, and you'll probably send a lot more than that out at the end, so 20 is a conservative estimate, which means that you will earn less if you play less, and earn more if you play enough to send more. This gives you a total of 280 drones per season, and while the amount of hero stones gained from each drone is random, we can see the probability, which we can use to calculate an estimate of the totals at the end of the season. We also have to take into account when a drone of higher rarity has a chance to be constructed and the amount that adds to our earnings as well. A player only using normal commanders will have a hard time earning enough drone parts. The average amount per drone would be 370 hero stones or 103,600 by the end of the season, which would be about 2.8 herco after the refining fee. If they had three normal commanders to construct level 2 drones, the average amount per drone would be 795 or 222,600 hero stones that would come out to be about 6 herco. With the rare commander, you can craft level 3 drones, which would yield an average of 1,287 and 360,360 hero stones, or 9.7 herco. With an epic commander and 3 others, you can craft level 4 drones, which would yield an average of 3,276 and 917,280 hero stones, or 24.8 herco. This is where it gets a little dicey though, because an epic commander can have different mining bonuses based on their mining bonus levels, so this estimate is assuming the worst. With the Legendary Commander and four others, you can craft level 5 drones which would yield an average of 5,357 and 1.5 million hero stones or 40 herco. Again, this is considering the lowest mining bonus which would depend on the individual commander's mining level. Finally, with the Mythic Commander,
commander, and five others, you can craft level 6 drones, which would yield an average of 15,204.3 million hero stones, or 115 herco to start out, and slightly more if your mythic commander has a max level mining bonus. Now, we will take these values and add them to the possible season ranking rewards. Keep in mind that these rewards, the exchange rate, fee, and drone values could change over time and with updates to the game, so instead of looking at these numbers to be exact, it is more of a way to see how much more you would earn in one tier relative to the ones around it to help you decide the best way for you to play in order to get the most enjoyment and earnings out of the limited amount of time you have. This is a very low risk minimalist earning strategy. Remember that there are many ways to increase your earnings beyond these amounts through many games of chance or investing a portion into your team strength for a higher rank reward, but it is nice to know what you are risking if you choose to do so. Next, I want to talk about watching to earn. Each day, a player is able to watch 5 ads for bonuses from the shop, 8 for additional artifact summons, 5 for more channel material, and 3 for more trial battles, hero production, and auto combine speed. In addition to the rewards for watching, you will gain extra quest related rewards that will put you ahead of players who do not watch the ads and even with players who spend an average of 150,000 hero stones per day. These are just estimates as the actual value of each ad you watch will change over the course of the season. While watching ads will grant you more power, it will only directly benefit your earnings if it is enough to help you finish the season in a higher rank reward tier. This means that if you would normally just barely finish in the top 2000, it may not be enough to get you into the top 900. However, if you're already getting into the top 1200 without ads, you may be able to break through with a little bit of extra help from ads, which can be used to replace or supplement investing your earnings back into your team. Now, I will take you through the steps of buying and selling Wemix and NFT and Herco, as well as breaking down and refining Hero Stones. You'll need a Wemix wallet account as well as a wallet account at one of these exchanges in order to purchase Wemix. I have used Gate.io and Mex, but since I'm in the United States, I prefer KuCoin. I can purchase Wemix here and send it to my Wemix wallet address, which can be found by pressing my wallet in the top right corner of the Wemix wallet app. Double and triple check that you are always sending crypto to the correct address and that it's using the same network or you will never see your money again. Here we can transfer our Wemix tokens into Wemix credits, which can be used to purchase NFTs in the market. Place. Once purchased, you can load it into the game and start playing with it immediately. If you want to sell your NFT, you would locate it in your wallet and list it on the market for your desired price. Note that you will incur a 5% fee on the proceeds of all NFT sales. Here you can retrieve your NFT if you change your mind or would like to relist it for a different price. Once your NFT sells, you must go back and sign for it to retrieve the Wemix you earned from the sale and complete the transaction. If you would like to cash out, you would transfer these Wemix credits back into Wemix tokens tokens and send the tokens to the exchange you signed up for using that wallet address. Again, double and triple check it is correct. There you can convert it into many other cryptocurrencies or sell it and deposit the profits into your bank account that you linked with the exchange. Players from other countries may have fewer or more restrictions based upon their local laws, so please make sure the exchange you are using is safe for citizens of where you live. If we wanted to purchase Herco to use in the game instead, we would head over to the DEX and put in our order for Herco using our Wemix credits. Once the order is complete, we will head over to the Order tab to retrieve our Herco and it will now be usable in the game. From here, we can spend it in the shop or break it down into Hero Stones if we wanted to spend those instead. The process is the exact same in reverse. If we want to refine her Hero Stones into Herco, the rate is displayed here and the fee will be deducted to show you the total Herco you will receive. You may exchange the Herco for Wemix credits and cash out the same way we did with the sale of the NFT. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe so we can do this again sometime time.